Ah, oh, finally I get to tow with the F450. I'm so excited. But wait, I don't have my CDL yet. It's completely fine, who cares? It's a short trip. Nobody's ever gonna know. It's completely worth it. It's right down the road. Yeah, it will be good. Here we go, boys. Wait, what? I haven't even left my driveway. What? Yeah? Sir, can I see your registration proof of insurance and your Class A CDL? Ah, moral of that story is, ladies and gentlemen, don't drive overweight without your CDL. Trust me, I learned from personal experience, it's a big, big fine. Fortunately, I wasn't fine for it, but take it from me. Although I'm really tempted to Drive the F450 for the last rendezvous with the white gooseneck trailer. Unfortunately, that just can't happen. And fortunately, I am underweight with this truck right here. So what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. <sighs> yes, today we are actually selling the only white gooseneck in the country. <laughs> Yo, everybody got so upset when I titled my video <laughs> that way. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was a joke on me. Laugh at me all you want. It's fine. Completely oh, fine. Wait, that, that wasn't true? Don't tell anybody in the country. <laughs> the only white one is right here. And I'm it. selling it for a million dollars. That's it. One million dollars. Ah, I know. People are going to be blown away. It's, it's worth more than that. I mean, it's such a rarity. It's. I thought one. I could probably ask a little bit more money for it, but, you know, I wanted to be fair to the buyer, all things considered. I That's thought it was it. a great deal. I really did. And I got such a good deal on that Ford ST. They actually felt bad for me and gave me my platinum back. <laughs> <laughs> so yes guys in today's video we are actually going to be selling the gooseneck trailer my 14 gn big text that i bought right at the beginning of 2019 this thing has a lot of sentimental value to me because it was like one of the first big purchases that i made in the business and i've since learned a lot specifically about commercial towing and applications such as that so me and this trailer right here have been through a lot we hauled the mini max we hauled a ton of giveaway trucks on i bought my first skid steer with it bought my second skid steer with it put the skid steer on it only to take pictures so i could have it hauled by a trailer that could actually tell my skid steer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pictures turned out good, though. Yeah, they Pictures did. They turned out great. I'm so happy we did that, and then we, we pulled it off. Yeah, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it. The 7,000 pound axles on this thing, they were fine, just for the photo. Just for the photo. Absolutely. I do have one question for you, though. If you're flexing the rock lights on that, why aren't you... That's a really good point. Flexing. Nice. There we go. <laughs> totally can't tell, but nice. We're good, bro. We're good. They're on. Woo! So yes, boys, we are selling my gooseneck today. You're gonna wanna stay to the end of this video because I'm going to reveal what I'm buying in place of it. Because I need a trailer. It's just those details can't can't be revealed at this very point in time because well we're running late. We gotta go. Why is it so freaking icy today? I cannot believe today is actually here, guys. This is something that I've been holding secret from you for about the last month and a half. I'm sorry I had to do it. I just had to wait until everything was locked in stone. And the details are finally solidified. Dudes, also quick reminder, if you wanna get entered for Dream Diesel Giveaway 15, my 2020 Denali, your choice of brushed or black wheels and $15,000, your time window is small, very small as a matter of fact, because the giveaway ends February 2nd. 15 times entries are live, Procrastination Nation. I'm telling you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are selling the notorious white gooseneck. I was joking around a little bit earlier in the vlog because I had titled this video, I bought the only white gooseneck in the country. And I haven't since really acknowledged why I titled it that way. What I was implying was not to clickbait you guys by any means, rather it was the only one that was available in the country at that very point in time. It worked out beautifully because when I was in the market to buy my first gooseneck trailer, I had said to myself, it'd be really, really cool if I could get a white one. Mostly because as well, you guys know, I love white vehicles 
vehicles, period, in general, my Corvette, my trucks, pretty much all of them, I just prefer the color of white. There's a really, really long backstory to that. We're not getting into it today, but rather I saw it as an opportunity to do something just a little bit different because you don't really see colored trailers all that often. So lo and behold, I came over to Lime Ridge later that day. I think I was talking about Ron Burgundooley at the time. It was roughly February of 2019 and Sam had showed me a picture of a white gooseneck that was literally for sale around the corner, like not very far at all. And for curiosity's sake, I jumped online. I did a search for white goosenecks and I couldn't find any. So that's why I tunneled the video the way that I did. I wasn't trying to quick bait you guys, but I was also really excited. So this thing has been awesome. It's a 20 plus five, 14 GN by Big Tex. Essentially what that means is 20 foot on the flat part of the deck and then five foot from the tilt point down. The plus five is the additional five foot that you get when you fold the mega ramps up because you can actually support weight on them. So 25 foot in total for cargo space. And then you've got another probably 10 foot up front. So you're looking at roughly a 35 foot trailer from tip of the gooseneck down to tail. Now, as you guys know, this thing has been around for a while. It's hauled a lot of stuff here on the channel and we've made a lot, a lot of really good memories with it. So today is somewhat bittersweet because I'm gonna be parting with something that's been so significant to me in so many different ways. So as far as an update on this thing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just that it doesn't fit or suit my needs any longer. The 14 GN is rated at 15,900 pounds GVWR. It weighs 4,300 pounds. And then that calculates out to roughly 11,600 pounds that you can put on the actual back part of the trailer. That is the max GVWR that you can tow with this thing right here. It's got dual 7,000 pound axles, which total that 14,000 aka the 14 GN, although they rate it technically at 15,900. I did derate the trailer down to 14,000 pounds. So if we do the adjusted math, that brings us to roughly 9,700 pounds that I can tow in total on the actual trailer itself. That's discounting the combination weight of my tractor and my trailer. The total combination weight of this unit that you see right here is 25,250 pounds, putting me under that 26,000 pound threshold. Now, as you guys know, I am going to be getting my CDL. I've basically been studying for it. I'm pretty much ready to go. I just gotta make time to go take my permit test and then I can schedule my actual driver's exam. I think it's like 15 or 30 days after that's done. So selling the white gooseneck is kind of part Part one of what will be the new setup. Part two is the new trailers actually arrived at the dealer that I ordered it from sometime last year. We'll get into that a little bit here soon. So then you might be asking yourself, who is the new buyer? And well, boys, it's pretty cool. Sam decided that he would buy the trailer that he initially found before I had even mentioned that I was gonna be buying a trailer myself. We had a little bit of a running joke where he was like, dude, I think I'm gonna buy that trailer before you. And I'm like, oh, come on, man, don't do that to me. It matches my fleet. So kind of a weird foreshadow of events in a way because Destiny ended up just marrying them together inevitably. Ah, so this is gonna be her new resting grounds for for a little while so if you guys decide to come down to Lime Ridge you're gonna be able to see what was my gooseneck I don't know if they're gonna leave the enthusiast decals here on the neck they might put Lime Ridge automotive which I can kind of support and get behind I think that that would fit this thing nice but oh man this is starting to get really real right now boys now guys speaking of some memories check out what just got brought back to Lime Ridge you ready for it it's right here in front of me oh does that thing look familiar boys check out who's back it's Clifford, AKA Dream Diesel giveaway number 10, back in the showroom that I initially set my eyes on this truck last year. Very, very short of the long story here is Kristen has the winner of this truck, had it in her possession for about nine months. She took it out to Sturgis, drove it to work every day and loved it, but then decided that she just wanted to sell it. It didn't exactly suit her needs as she didn't necessarily have a place to park it. And it's just naturally a lot of truck. So she reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in buying it back. And at the time I wasn't because we may or may not have a new truck that is hiding somewhere at Lime Ridge right now as a small little sneak peek. But I did say Sam would probably be interested in, well, lo and behold, it's back. Needless to say, Kristen walked away with a very healthy chunk of change as Dream Diesel Giveaway number 10's winner. So she kind of got the best of both worlds. She got a really badass truck to drive around in for a while. And then she walked away with a thick pile of cash. There's a lot of value to winning the giveaways, boys. 
and you could be next. Now the truck currently is available at Lime Ridge right now, but I can't promise it's gonna be forever. So if you guys are interested, definitely give them a buzz. As of this video going live, I'm not sure if it still will be available because I know that a lot of people are calling about this thing. And honestly, being next to it right now kind of makes me wanna buy it back. Man, it's crappy outside today. All right, guys, so we're back up at the house now, intentionally bouncing all over the place in this vlog because I'm trying to get caught up from vacation. You know what it's like to go away and to really enjoy your trip, but then to get back and feel as if you're like 15 steps behind? I've been doing my best all day to play catch up, and finally we're getting back up to that nice even ground or above sea level, as I like to say. Dudes, check this view out. There's so much room over here where I had the gooseneck for the last few months. God, it's kind of weird. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I feel like something's missing right now right now and lucky me i got i got more rocks <laughs> I, I exposed even more of the oh so glorious ironstone that i have up here in my property wow i am just so happy about that <laughs> so yes guys basically the white gooseneck is now in sam's possession it's in great hands and you're still going to be seeing it around from time to time on the vlog a little bittersweet i'm not even going to hold out on the details by not letting you guys know that the next trailer is not white which is crazy to me i know i somewhat questioned making the decision that I made to get the new trailer that I'll be getting hopefully here within like the next two to three weeks so you guys will be seeing a video on that because of the fact that it isn't white. I really, really valued and appreciated the all white setup, which has been on pretty much both of my Duramaxes at the time. The white trailer is awesome. All trailers are going to show dirt regardless whether they're black or white. I was really trying to find the new trailer setup in a white configuration, but it was extremely difficult. As a matter of fact, it was impossible unless I wanted to essentially build my own. But building comes with drawbacks. Lead times right now for trailer manufacturing are up almost three months which like nobody has time for at all three months right now puts us into april and i can damn near guarantee i'm gonna need this trailer before then i almost feel as if i'm missing one of my fundamental tools in my toolbox right now if you know what i mean anybody that has a trailer out there knows what i'm saying so i decided to pull the trigger on a trailer that is not white which i'm somewhat sad about because i valued the all white setup tremendously and i considered myself very lucky to have such a unique trailer there were a few used ones that were kind of floating around but there were some specific features that I was looking for on the new trailer if I was in fact going to make a switch. One of the very many reasons that I needed to upgrade my trailer, it is an upgrade as a matter of fact, is because I upgraded my skid steer. Literally, in terms of weight, like this is a massive upgrade from the Caterpillar and even the Caterpillar was walking a very fine line. All of this is relating back to the fact that we have essentially just built our way up to a point of needing extra towing capacity capacity and in turn we have extra obligation in our licensure and this all kind of goes back to the CDL thing inevitably even if the white trailer was rated to tow this I would still need my CDL for the rating for pretty much any of the new trucks back to my point I wouldn't be able to take this machine anywhere if I needed to take it somewhere and I don't want it to be landlocked to one specific area or have to depend on other people to move it around for me which I've done a little bit here and there in the past and and as most equipment owners would agree with, once you get one, you're probably going to get another and, and maybe another and another, who knows? I may or may not be looking at something that I'm hoping to potentially add in the year of 2021. I don't know, we'll see. I know for damn sure that I wouldn't be able to add that very certain something if I didn't make this move right here. So I'll take a moment of silence for the loss of the 14GN enthusiast rig as it will be replaced here shortly. In the meantime, I'm just going to appreciate all of this newfound space that I basically just sold back for myself. Also in other news, guys, we've got a local landscaper that's gonna be coming out and helping to remove some of the rocks off the property, which I'm really, really excited about. Got them all sorted up up there there, which we've done in some previous videos. I've got, of course, all these right here, which I wasn't really able to access all that much because I just had the trailer in the way, which I never really got around to. You know, we've got a few piles in the backyard right now. He said he wants to take as many as he can possibly load with his KX80, which is essentially the biggest mini excavator that Kubota manufactures and the same excavator that I used to do a majority of the digging that we did here while we were kind of excavating the driveway extension. I'm really excited about that specifically because 
because it's only going to help me make more room for more rocks once excavation begins for the shop build. Lots of things going on, guys, and I am beyond excited about all of it. As a final takeaway, I'm really looking forward to warmer weather. We're at that point in the year where I'm kind of just ready for warm weather. I say seasonal depression is 100% something that I'm subject to because I'm kind of just done with like the cold, damp, dark days. Is, is anybody with me? Smash that thumbs up button if you agree. Plus, I love trying to keep my vehicles clean, and in this time of the year, it's actually impossible. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I miss driving my Corvette. It just sits in here begging to be ripped on, and it wants to hurt as many feelings as it possibly can, but not with this stuff on the ground. Well, anyway, my rant's over. So thank you guys, as always, for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, tap that notification bell, grab some entries for Dream Diesel giveaway number 15 before it's over February 2nd, and I'll see y'all in the next upload.